I'm now here at Walmart. I'm going to get a Granny Smith apple tree. And so we're going to do the plantation update on the property. So I got all the stuff here. I got some of the stuff that when I went this morning to Home Depot. Somebody over there has their car alarm on. Finally took it off. So I went to Home Depot or Lowe's earlier today. And I got some garden soil and some mulch, which was in a bag. So I got a half marked down price. And I got some other compost under that bag there and some bricks. And so we're going to get a Granny Smith apple tree. And uh, we're going to plant it on the property. So, um, but the bricks will to be for the, uh, uh, mark the territory, mark the uh, place for the apple tree. And also got this another raspberry bush. So I'm going to plant on the property as well. Got that at Lowe's. And okay, so we're going to go get an apple tree. Okay, so these are the Granny Smith apple trees. And the good thing about the Granny Smith apple trees, it requires four to six hours of sun, other than the um, Golden Delicious apple tree, which requires six plus hours of sun. So I'm hoping the four to six hours apple trees would be better. I can try this Arkansas black, that's six hours. So I'm looking for a tree that I can get for that requires only four hours of sun. So we'll see what I can find. Okay, so as you can see, the Greeny Smith requires four to six hours of sun versus the, um, like the Golden Delicious requires four to six hours plus. And there's also this other version um, here at the Macintosh. And of course the Macintosh also requires only four to six hours of sun. So don't require as much sun on the uh, other ones. Like this Japanese plum requires six hours. So I'm gonna try to, so it's either a decision between the Macintosh or the Granny Smith. That's the Golden Delicious. Okay, the, here he is. Granny Smith requires four to six hours of sun. So, I think I'm going to get the Greeny Smith. The Greeny Smith looks a little bigger too. So, I'll get the tree. Okay, so this is the Greeny Smith I decided, I selected. Has a little bit of buds on it. There. So hopefully it'll come up. So I'm going to come inside and pay for it. Little bud here. It's so over four or six hours of sun. Likes moist, well drained soil. Hardy to negative 30 degrees Fahrenheit. Matures mid to late fall. Alright, so we go inside the bird store, or called Walmart, and pay for the tr apple tree. Okay, so I stopped at Arby's for lunch. And the apple tree is in the back. And also when I was at Walmart, I also got some charcoal and some lid of fuel. So going to the property on 64, heading that way to plant the apple tree. At Arby's lunch. Had a French dip. I think it ripped off of them. They didn't think I ordered a half pound. I think they think short changing a couple ounces of roast beef. Uh, Nobody wants to give you a, a, a correct order anymore. Anyway, I'm going to go plant the apple tree for the property. So I'm at the property. I'm going to plant the apple tree way down over there. And you can see the no trespassing signs are still here, as well as the purple markings. All right, so let's go do some planting. Okay, so I'm going to plant the apple tree right here, I'm thinking. And this is where the old cherry tree was it didn't grow so this is the property almost at the property line which is property line I think is right about here so it's safe within the property and uh, so we're gonna start planting so I gotta bring all the stuff over here okay so got all the stuff Ooh, I'm tired from carrying all the stuff in the truck way over there 
I'd walk in the truck over to here, put the stuff here. So I'm gonna start digging. Got all the stuff here, got the garden soil, got the, the Greeny Smith apple tree, got the mulch, got the bricks. So we're gonna start digging right there and plant the apple tree. This is like a good area that I can get a pretty good amount of sun and it's on the prop it's within the property line so everything will go good. And so dig it up. Okay, so dug the hole right there. Got the hole dug up. Lots of lots of roots from old trees and rocks. And while I was digging it with this little pickaxe, this thing broke. <laughs> so use the handle. So that broke. Fortunately, I don't really need it. It's old anyway, so I wouldn't have done any good. So we're gonna put the apple tree in and uh, hope to get an apple crop and fill in the rest of the dirt, put in the garden soil and uh, hummus and whatever I can use of this dirt. Lots of rocks, as you can see. Big, giant rocks that have probably been here for since, since God created the earth. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so let's put the apple tree in. Okay, so the apple tree is in the dirt, and now I just gotta fill it in. And uh, I can use this pot to put the tomatoes in. I'm going to see if I have extra soil. So, which is good, I can put it maybe another tomato plant in there. So, I can recycle that. Alright, so let's fill this in. Okay, so there is your apple tree planted. I was going to mulch it and then put the uh, uh, concrete, the brick barrier and put the profit no post no trespassing sign on there and uh, hopefully in years to come someone will come by here, hopefully me or somebody that I know and who owns this property and enjoy some apples. Okay, so we got it, got the perimeter Barrier made, put in, mixture of, con of uh, native soils and the garden soil and the compost. I'm going to mulch it inside and uh, be done with this apple tree. Okay, so got the brown mulch in there and here we go. Let's put the sign up. Okay, so there's your sign posted no trespassing to protect the apple tree. I right, got some all this garden soil to put that berry bush now down. And I got this extra pot. Okay, so we were at the um, blackberry bush that I had here a while ago. And it actually looks like it's coming back up. So despite it being gnawed down, it looks like it's going back. You can see the little buds there. So it's not a complete destruction by these squirrels or whatever chewed up on that or it's like somebody who somebody cut up on it or whatever so it's not a dead plant so that's good news so i'm going to plant the blackberry raspberry bush right probably here somewhere and it'll have a no dangerous from runoff and there's the other one over there the other raspberry bush that i planted a couple weeks ago right over there you can see all right so let's get digging and i'm going to use that other pot for the other tomatoes. I'm finding new stuff that I can uh, use here. And I also got that other garden soil over there. So good news. The raspberry bush comes in this white bag. You just pull it out and plant it in a hole. So that's what we're going to do. And we're going to hope for some raspberries. Okay. So everything is planted. got the mulched. I got that little white uh, rag over that stake that was from the broken uh, digger. Hopefully that noise will keep the squirrels away and other animals may hear that rattling. Here's the other bush and I got some good news on it. It looks like it's, you can see the little leaves are coming up. So that is excellent news. So we're gonna hopefully have a good berry collection. All right, so I'm finished here. I'm gonna put all the stuff back in the truck and head on out. Here's one of the old dog leashes. <laughs> the 
at this head over here. Maybe a squirrel will think it's a trap and will stay away from there. So, see how that works. All right, so I'm gonna head on over to the truck, put all this stuff away, and uh, hopefully for a good berry collection on your property for the plantation. So we got blackberries and raspberries now growing here, plus that apple tree, which is up there. All right, so let's head on back. So went to Home Depot or Lowe's earlier today. More criteria Golden Delicious apple tree, which requires 60. Uh, the Golden Delicious apple tree. Okay, so old green soil. Okay, so I stopped at Arby's for Where's the, where's the property. Where's the property line? The walk, the truck. Okay, so dug the hole right there. Giant rocks have probably been here for this, this property and enjoy some apples. Just passing to protect the apple tree. Somebody, somebody cut up on or whatever. Steak that was from the broken thing. Leaves are coming up. So that is the wall. I think it's trapping. Stay away from